Yeah! What up, y'all? And that, that never gets old. Welcome back to another one. Check it out, set. Good boy, good boy. Check out those hands. Uh huh. Hopefully, I don't have any on my face anymore. Boy, I've been uh, painting and painting and painting and painting. Come on, Fred, let's go. Uh, today, awesome video. Awesome video. Uh, we got coming for you guys. We're headed out with my buddy Mike. You guys have met Mike, you know, Mike and Larry. Yeah, I know y'all remember Larry. We're going out with Mike to one of his new duck leases that he has purchased into. So this, uh, this duck lease, you guys have never been there. This was actually one of the first private duck leases that I ever went to in my life. Uh, I hunted this with Wade, y'all know Wade. Man, probably 16 years ago. I honestly, that's a rough guess. So I haven't been out there forever. Buddy Mike uh, purchased into it. We're going out there to plant a ton. And I mean a ton. Sit, sit. I've had to stay on him, man. A ton of Japanese millet. It is time, it needs to get in the ground. Uh, number one, I've never planted millet, especially Japanese millet, you know, in duck holes or anything. So this is gonna be a big learning experience for me because number two, we're gonna go plant our own duck leases after we figure out the tricks of the trade. So, but we will get to that in one second. Check out that duck's hat, old school camo. August 20th, y'all, August 20th. This drops, this beautiful, I'm gonna try here. This shirt as well, that bad boy drops. Hope y'all could see that. August 20th, duck, goose calls, everything back in stock. So, uh, a lot of you guys appreciated this, the last video that I opened up. Uh, I wanna give you a little update. Instead of making full lodge video updates, I don't want to for a little while here, I just wanna, you know, every video now, now and again, just wanna give you guys an update at the beginning of the video. So what we got going on here, we'll make it quick. Don't worry, we're gonna get in the sharp here in just a little bit. What we got going on here is Gerald has a pallet wall going on in here. And this isn't just gonna be a normal old junk pallet wall. Beautiful, beautiful cuts of black walnut, all kinds of different wood, trees, yada, yada, that's going on that. So it's gonna be one of a kind. Number two. Oh, finally, finally, finally. Not only is the sheetrock done throughout the entire thing, and when I say done, I mean done. Not only, see, look, look, look how nice it is. Check out them corners, boys. Oh yeah. The whole thing is done. Not only that, but today we got all the ceilings painted. All the new ceilings are painted. Now we're ready to paint the walls throughout the entire thing. Check it out. Oh yeah, the new bathroom, ceilings are done, sheetrock's done, ready for paint. <sighs> yes, so a huge, huge part of the entire process is done. The walls, sheetrock, ceilings painted, we're ready to paint the walls. After the walls are painted, all of the outlets get covers and everything. We get lights up, we get huh, a huge, huge thing. The new kitchen goes in, all the cabinets, refrigerator, stove, microwave, sink, dishwasher. So it's a big turning point for the lodge. I just wanted to give you guys an update. I hope you guys appreciate it. If you have any recommendations for the lodge, you know what to do, drop a comment down below. And number two, not only that, but y'all have been sending some amazing gifts to the P.O. Box. If you want to send decoration, gifts, whatever for the lodge, the P.O. Box is linked down in the description below. Boy, howdy, I'll tell you what, this is one of those places uh, that you get to come to if you're lucky once in your life. This place is absolutely amazing. I can remember uh, Wade and I hunting it when we were probably 15, 16 years old. For one thing, there is a creek that feeds this place and uh, it's a pretty good creek. I remember hunting it one time and I think we scratched a two-man limit of mallards in under literally 10 minutes one morning. It's just one of those places that uh, everyone hears about if you live you know, within an hour or two of it, but very, very few get to experience it. One of them things. <laughs> well, I left, uh, the, the <laughs> I left the camera at the truck. Mike and I and Fred are out here. And uh, when we first got here, yep, this is the situation. When we first got here, 
Mike was like, Bob, this can't get stuck, right? And I'm like, dude, it'll go through literally anything. And uh, we were just, we, we did, we went through everything yeah. without, without a hitch. And you said this is an old river bottom? Yeah. Okay, so check, this is, um, we bailed in here. We were just gonna cut across the property. As you can see, it's really bad. Um, I'm letting the, uh, letting the shirt just take a chill pill here. We've been working at it for about 10, 15 minutes trying to get unstuck. It's a real bad deal. Yeah, this right here, we're gonna deflate some pressure out of the tire, see if it helps. Deflate it down to about 50. See if that helps, hopefully. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's not good. You, you know, a, a shirt doesn't have a winch because it can literally go anywhere. Well, literally, you can't put that in the vocabulary anymore. Yeah, no. bad deal. Here we go. Sorry, uh, uh, dude, I'm, hey, pit the thumbs up for us. We haven't even got to planting yet. I'm filming on my phone here. Hope you guys, it's really zoomed in. My phone is, all right, let's try it again here. You ready, Mike? Come on, baby. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. You moving it all back there? Look at the hole. We finally got out. Look at that hole. Dude, look oh, at the hole. Oh, man. Oh, we came out of there like a rocket. Oh, yeah. I about went flying out the front windshield. <laughs> <laughs> so we were going. Uh, we're, this is a dike right here, as you can tell. Thank God. You know what? Thank God we only went in 15 foot, and I was like, hey, something ain't right. Yeah. And I stopped. Because yeah. if we would have went any fall. farther. Uh, oh, we'd been done. Oh. I don't know if it, my tractor would even get you out of that. That was bad. It was fun. It's more fun now that we're out of the mud. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! We made it back. I didn't even take the big camera because Mike was like, oh, let's just go, you know, charge around, scout the place out, and we'll come back. Yep. I hope I recorded it good enough on my phone. Look at that. Look, but look at her. You wouldn't even tell that we were just in a predicament. I'm telling you what. Um, the old shirt met its maker. I never thought that there was any type of mud on this earth that would stick that thing. Sure enough, Kansas has it. I mean, thank goodness I, I stopped where I did. It was game over. This is what we got going on now. It's time to plant a bunch of millet. Japanese millet. We got three bags worth. Gonna do some uh, tilling. Gonna do some tilling. Then we're gonna broadcast and then we're gonna pack it in with the shirt now. Check it out. Old Mike, he brought his tractor along and a heck of a little disc. So we're gonna get busy, do some disking. Anything with grass or weeds like this, we'll have to disc up, plant, then pack in. And then we're gonna plant uh, along some water edge. So we'll probably be in the back. Mike will probably be in the back just shh, Then we'll pack it in with the shirt. But if you guys are enjoying the video, me getting the shirt completely buried, smash the thumbs up button. Well, we're headed back uh, to where we just came from. I'm still just... Uh, uh. So they said, man, there are some big bass out here. We're going to come back out here on another video, and we're going to go fishing on top, on top of the shirt, uh, going through the water. Me and Mike, we scared up some huge bass. So that's one thing. Another thing is we're getting ready to go buy a blind and I will film it. It doesn't have any water in it right now. But this is uh, this is one of the spots where Bob, old Bob, shot one of, it was probably, it wasn't one, it was one of the first Mallard, Drake Mallards that I ever shot by myself. Put it that way. One of the most studliest Drake Mallards. One of the first ones that is. I'm, I'm saying like, 
the first two years, the first year or two that I was duck hunting. Check it out. Here, come on. Come on, friend. Come on, get in. Get in. <laughs> well, that's a big drop off. So here we are. This is uh, the spot where I shot one of my first mallards ever. Check it out. So right out there, right there, you see that little hill? That's a blind. And all this from here, all of this, all the water is controlled by floodgates. And that's what we're here to do. This is our first spot. So we're gonna kill some strips. We're gonna lay down some seed. But back to my story, that blind right there, I can remember I was in it with an old guy named Keith, really old guy. I think he's in his 80s now. Very awesome guy. Shot a mallard up here and it sailed right over here. <clears throat> way back before Fred, way back before the channel ever existed. And this river, check it out. It's a small creek. Uh, it was a lot higher. And that mallard went in there and just started going downstream. What did Bobby do? I trucked in after it. About went over my waders for the first time. <laughs> It was a good story though, man. I'll never forget that. Fred, can you get in right here? There you go. There's good. Get you a good drink, Frederico. There you go, buddy. He says, oh, dad, that's nice. Here we go. This is all gonna be flooded, so. Man, that's, oh no. Don't be getting stuck now, Michael. Don't be getting stuck. Maybe a few passes, maybe. Yeah, it's really not penetrating much. Man, that's hard. That is some thick vegetation to get through, man. Yeah. I'll, I mean. Japanese millet. Do you know why ducks like Japanese millet so much? Is there a thing to Japanese millet? No, I haven't. Uh, don't know if they prefer one over another. I don't know. That's Japanese millet though, y'all. Check it out. All right, you're good. You're good. Here we go. So, we're having a bit of trouble here, y'all. As you can tell, we have a uh, swath right here. And you can see Mike out there on the tractor. For some reason, I, I'm not I'm not the biggest tractor guy out here, but uh, we can't get enough down pressure on that uh, on the blade. Just can't get enough down pressure to do a lot of damage. He's he's starting to get down in there now, but it takes him probably six passes one way to get the ground broken up. I don't know if it's just because it's a small tractor, small implement, and uh, we're dealing with so much vegetation some thick vegetation but just can't get that disc down in the dirt for some reason we've adjusted it five different times hey fred watch out come here buddy right here heel set is it working better uh, is it working no <laughs> <laughs> but it's throwing up a little bit of dirt. Hopefully that we get a little bit of millet seed in and yeah. cover it up. I think if it's supposed to rain later this week, it'll go in. <laughs> I was trying to film you, man. Trying to get that epic shot of old Freddy in the sunset. Pretty, uh, pretty epic being out here though right now. You know, when I was a kid and I came out here and I shot that mallard, I actually came out here probably two or three times when I was a kid. And uh, I was like, you know what, this is probably going to be the only time that I get to come out here. And now, look, we're back. And it's because of the channel, you know. It's pretty remarkable. Pretty awesome, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm glad uh, just to get this out there, you know. Being a part of the waterfowl industry uh, is a blessing for me. It's something that I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to be an advocate for shotgun safety, most of all. But I've always wanted to help promote duck hunting and, and help new people get into duck hunting and Sorry, I'm getting a little sentimental right now, but being right here and, and helping out gets me to that point, man. It's pretty special, man. I, I, I enjoy what I do. 
Everybody that's always giving good comments down below and, and saying, Bob, thank you for your tips. I learned so much new things from you. Or if it's just, Bob, you're funny. Uh, you're, you being with your family, we love it. It's, uh, it's a little bit of everything for me. I love it all. I love it all. All right, hold on, Fred. We're going in. Whoa! I was hoping that wasn't going to be a cliff. Here we go. Here's another hole. Hopefully we don't find a never-ending bottom here. That would not be good. These are old burned cattails. Wow, we're on top of them. But anyways, this clump of trees right here, I guess it's going to be a new blind, and we're going to put a hole here and on the other side. And huge shout out to Dive Bomb Industries for uh, allowing me to use the shirt. The gripper handle here. All right, well, we got a little drop off here. Are you ready? Uh, I don't know. I got my little gripper handle. <laughs> Let's give her. So Let's go. we need to get over to the other side over there. We're going to uh, hand broadcast. Oh, yeah, not bad. Hey, we grab that door right there. That door right there and pull it up. We're going to hand broadcast, hand plant. Look at these fish. Fish everywhere. Well, there's fish everywhere, Mike. Holy smokes, are they all carp? We need to come bow fishing out here, dude. Look at that. They're everywhere. But we want to get over here. We're going to broadcast along this muddy bank here. Oh, yeah, that's some good mud. Oh, yeah. You can broadcast all up yeah. in here. Stick to the edges and I'll broadcast and we'll come back and that'll work. spread through here. Okay, sure. that'll work. Yeah, right here I'd broadcast all this. That'll work. All right, you get back there. All right. Dump me. <laughs> he said, don't dump me. Well, old Mike's got a hand spreader back there. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. All right. He's just going to sit on the back, do some hand spreading while I pull forward slowly. Yeah, slow at least the key word. <laughs> Oh yeah, you need to. Oh, I got you. There you go. We're golden. We are golden. Man, right here earlier. So this is one of the water structures. As you can see, there's water going in it right there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you get your legs wet? Almost. All right, I'll get back up on the bank. Earlier on the top of that water structure, there was a huge cotton mouth. It was a big one, and I mean a big one. Alright, right here, you can spread her out right here, boy. Yeah. Get Go ahead. Going. Spread it. Spread, what are you doing, man? Am I going slow enough? Yeah. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Plant millet with the shirt. <laughs> oh. Oh, yeah. So, do you know the difference? What's the big deal on Japanese millet? What's the, is there a difference between Japanese and... I know there's different millets. For whatever reason, for duck hunting, they say Japanese millet is what waterfowl really like. Oh, I got gotcha. you. Yeah. You're going to have to ask somebody with more knowledge and millet than me. <laughs> I was looking for more, Mike. I was looking for more. Yeah. Ready? Well, I, I can give you a bunch of BS if you want. Hey, I, w I would have believed anything at this point. You'd have all kinds of comments calling BS. <laughs> you imagine people. Yeah, they, they would have called you out. That's for sure. Well, we're just broadcasting it right along the edge of the uh, the pond here. This pond has a ton of carp in it. We're definitely coming back. Super. Fred, make a supervisor. He is, isn't he? Yeah. He's looking at me, he's like, Dad, just let me out to swim. Yeah. Well, refilling again here. This is about the most redneck thing possible way you can plant millet. But like I said, we got one tire right on the edge right there. What that's doing is pushing up enough mud. Oh, that's some quicksand mud there. <laughs> we definitely don't need any more of that. But it's pushing up that mud so Mike can throw seed right on it. Yeah, check it out. This is just a mud flat here. There is no way I'm going back in that bad boy because I know what will happen. Or this thing will go everywhere. Hey, hey, I used to think it'd go anywhere, but now <laughs> your boy's got to be careful out here. My goodness. There we go. Grab you a little handful of the mud flat. Chuck it out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is perfect right here. So they have the, uh, they have the gates opened up, and the water is actually going to keep going down. So this is perfect. It's the perfect little area to really stuff the millet in. 
Beautiful. Beautiful out here, isn't it? Duck food. Well, hi there, Freddy. What's up, man? Me and Fred, we're just down in the studio. I call it my studio. This is where I do my editing. As you can tell, I always have a mess of uh, usually fast food cups and energy drinks. <sighs> but uh, I, I literally scared the life out of myself, to be honest with you, um, getting that sherp stuck like that. I never wanted to get that sherp stuck, and I never meant to get that sherp stuck. Uh, I didn't know if we are going to get it out that day. I really didn't. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, there is going to be some honker hunts to come, guys. I already got the sherp loaded. Uh, that's why I'm just hurrying up trying to edit videos for you guys. Uh, today's actually what, like Tuesday? So yeah, this video was edited Tuesday. I'm trying to get ahead because up in North Dakota, um, the reception is horrible. So I'm not going to have Wi-Fi. I'm hoping uh, that I can have the first honker up Sunday, if not Monday. So be expecting the North Dakota honker hunts coming your way. Again, you guys are watching this on Thursday. Hopefully the first one goes up on Sunday. Hopefully. So stay tuned for that. Be sure to hit that little notification bell down there because it'll notify you when your boy uploads. And guys, 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 I've had a ton of people ask about the decoy giveaway. Yes, I'm giving away, I'm giving away free floaters to probably four of you. Uh, there's still people commenting on that video and entering the giveaway. So I want to give as many people as I can uh, the opportunity to uh, have a chance to win these decoys. <clears throat> on top of that, I got some more decoys that we're going to end up giving away. So, if you don't win this time, there'll be more chances. I promise, like soon. But subscribe if you haven't. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Fred. Hi, buddy. Hi. I've been getting laid back, baby, you should know that I don't need your criticism, pessimism I've been keeping it on the DL, got a girl that keeps it real